Bob Summers. I'm a tax attorney in San Francisco and welcome to Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar, where we drink lattes and talk about tax. Today I'm going to talk about kind of an obscure subject. It is the use of the tax-free exchange rules for cyber currencies. A lot of people thought that you could exchange one cyber currency for another and that would fit within the like-kind exchange rules section 1031 of the Internal Revenue Code. Under that section you can exchange uh, one item for another on a tax-free basis. The tax is deferred until you finally sell the item. However, uh, starting January 1st, 2018, Congress severely cut back on the use of Section 1031 exchanges and basically only allows them for real estate. So as of January 1st, 2018, you cannot use uh, that code section 1031 for exchanges or swaps of various cyber currencies. All those transactions are taxable. Just recently, IRS came out with a, a memorandum stating that it believes that most cyber currency transactions occurring before that date do not meet the like-kind exchange rules uh, of Section 1031. For instance, they said uh, Bitcoin is not like-kind with Litecoin and is not like-kind with Ether, Ether, and none of those coins are like-kind to each other meaning that they would not qualify for 1031 treatment. They said they have a fundamental difference in the way they function um, and so on. The ruling is a little bit of a surprise because in the real estate area, 1031 is ex interpreted extremely broadly. You could take a piece of raw land and exchange it for an apartment house or an office building and that's considered a lifetime exchange. Uh, but IRS has ruled that gold is not like kind to silver and a bull is not like kind to a cow. So they have limited the exchange rules uh, in other contexts. So, okay. So what do you do? Well, let's say you timely filed your tax return for 2016. That would be the, uh, sorry, 2017, which would be the last year uh, conceivably you could have had a like kind exchange and you filed your tax return on a timely basis. Well, uh, and you reported your like-kind exchanges on the proper form. Well, you're in the clear. Um, IRS has three years from the date you file your tax return to audit you, and that three-year period has expired or will expire within 30 days. So if you properly file the tax return reporting the like-kind exchange uh, issues, uh, you're home free. The real issue is, uh, what if you didn't report the, uh, any of the exchanges on your tax return? Well, in most cases, IRS now has a six-year statute of limitations, which puts uh, uh, tax periods 2015, 16, and 17 um, at risk. Now, as far as 2015 goes, that six-year statute of limitation will expire in six months. So there really is not an issue there. It's very unlikely that IRS is going to all of a sudden decide to audit you in the last six months of a six-year statute. There's too many procedural hurdles. But for the other years, 2016 and 2017, you've got some pretty stark choices here. You could take the safe route and just amend your returns and pay the tax that you owe. Now the tax is going to be on the gain. So any gain that you would have had uh, uh, on the exchanges you would report and you'll probably have to pay, you'll definitely have to pay interest and probably some penalties. You could take a more aggressive approach, amend your returns, but treat them, the exchanges as like-kind exchanges and be, pre be prepared to argue against the memo that the IRS has written. After all, the memo is not law, it's just the IRS's opinion of what the law is. You give it great weight, but it's not legal precedent. The third approach is basically do nothing. Um, that's not wise, especially if you have not reported your income. Uh, you really need to be careful on that one because if there's any indicia of fraud or tax evasion, uh, 
you're risking uh, a lot uh, by doing nothing. So in conclusion, uh, if you've got cybercurrency swaps and you've reported them, don't worry about it. If you've got cybercurrency swaps, basically in the years of 2016 and 17, you'll have some tough decisions to make. If you have questions about this or any other topics, please drop me a line. If you found this video helpful, please like it on YouTube. Please visit my website for additional articles, information, and videos. This is Bob Summers from Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar, hoping you'll visit me on my next presentation. Thank you.